Faces of White Pipe Clay by Dick Ravsey. Dick Ravsey was an Australian Aboriginal artist and writer. He belonged to the tribe of Lodal people of Australia. His tribal name was Gupala Taldin. The meaning for his name is ocean dancing, describing a rough sea. Ravsey worked as a deckhand on board boats servicing Gulf settlements. Like Sally Morgan, he is good at painting and drawings. His paintings were exhibited at several places and are known for representing tribal lifestyles. Dick Ravsey was an active and prominent figure involved in reviving and preserving the cultural life of his Lodal people. He wrote about the changing cultural circumstances of his life in Moon and Rainbow. This Moon and Rainbow is the first autobiography of a tribal Aboriginal Australian. His best known works are a series of children's picture books that retell traditional Aboriginal stories including the Rainbow Serpent. Faces of White Pipe Clay is a portion from Moon and Rainbow written in the year 1971. In this prose portion, the author compares the poor naked Lodal people with the white man with faces of white pipe clay. Who are called Lodal? Lodal tribe is an indigenous Australian people and the traditional owners of Mornington Island in Queensland. Queensland is the second largest state in Australia. Probably as it is an island, people are living near to beaches and sea, and the setting of the prose also surrounds the beach area. The language spoken by this tribe people is also called Lodal language. These people are good at fishing and hunting. The whole prose is presented to the readers from the perspective of a true Aboriginal person, Dick Ravsey. When the prose opens, the father of Dick Ravsey was fishing a stingray. Stingray is a large, flat, round fish with a long tail that has poisonous points on it. You know, these indigenous Aboriginals are known for hunting and fishing for their livelihood, and they are living in their home island called Langunanchi. While they were fishing, they heard the arrival of white men in the ships. These Lodal people were so excited to see the white men and call them as white pipe clay. The author himself says that they are pale faced men. As tribe people were isolated from larger cultural influences, they were so ignorant before the arrival of colonists. They even wonder about the majestic appearance of the ship with no men could be seen paddling them. A loud rattling noise of the ship made these naked tribe people run away in fear and hid themselves by the scrub on the hill area. They also watched the strange white man who put out a small boat and rowed up to the land on the sandy beach. These Lodal people were so afraid of white man because they had heard stories about these white people. And according to these tribe people, white man kill a man with thunder that sent out invisible spears to tear a hole in his body and spill his blood on the sand. The author illustrates here the tribe people were unaware of the gun that was handled by white man and it is so funny that they called it as a thunder with invisible spears. The white man with the intention of helping tribe people came down beaches and offered piles of gifts in bags and boxes to them. When the white man who came in the ship vanished, the Lodal people took the strange materials found in bags and boxes. Actually, the white people had left gifts of food on the beach so that the tribe people would become friendly towards them. But the Lodal people were so ignorant because they were influenced by the previous stories told by others and were so scared by the appearance of white men. As a result, they did not understand the strange food and gifts offered by white men. A bag of flour was misunderstood to be white pipe clay. It is to be noted that they rubbed the flour all over their bodies and in their hair and threw the rest away. As they were living amidst nature, bush and environment, a bag of rice was misunderstood to be the eggs of wasp and they thought it was of no good to eat. Wasp is an insect just like a bee and produces eggs which are like rice. You know what they prefer to eat that was offered by white men? It is so funny they preferred soaps to eat rather than rice and flour. Balls of yellow soap. They thought soaps were meant to eat and put them into the fire to cook. 
the mother of Dick Ravsey, cooked and gave it to the older brother of Dick and some other children. The soaps made pain in the stomach and they decided that the food had been poisoned by the white man. What do you understand from the text? The text portrays the first real contact of Aboriginal people with that of white men. Ravsey expresses the agony of Aboriginal people when white men first entered the land of Australia and made everything they wanted. Ravsey being a true indigenous man stands for preserving his cultural heritage of the community. He was not only nostalgic about the happy memories of his ancestors but also laments over the loss of Aboriginality. Rafse explores that his ancestors were happy and glad of their origin like hunting and fishing before the arrival of white men. Towards the end of the prose he says now he can only write to share the stories of his own people. Thus Dick Rafse asserts his identity in a white dominated society and defends for retaining and preserving his cultural identity. Thank you.